Welcome to the homeowner series. Today we will be working on a big project. Over the last few hours we've had a few deliveries here to the property. We had two tons of three quarter inch gravel from a local supplier and we have a brand new basketball hoop. The brand new hoop is over here just paid over $500. I wasn't exactly sure how to bring it back uh, from the sporting goods store, so I decided just to have them deliver it. It was a $20 fee, but I think it was well worth it. We'll be able to have a great time playing basketball, but I do want to move it here into our driveway and let's find a spot. We'll just kind of get rolling here. I really wanted one that was not uh, cemented into the ground so we could kind of move it around in different areas or uh, different parts of the driveway. I think we'll kind of roll it around this gravel pile. Really want it in a good spot but out of the way as well. And let's see. So I'm thinking uh, we will put it right here for now. So I think right there it looks to be good that way. Uh, if we do not hit the backboard, it will go right into the lawn instead of into the house. That's a pretty good area. But here it is, guys. Uh, two tons of gravel. The big project for today will be building a gravel pad here for our enclosed trailer. And then we'll be picking up some supplies at the store to start uh, the uh, trailer port as well. Before we do that really quickly, I do want to give a quick update on the garage. The electrician came this week and we have all of the lights in, very bright LED lights, and I decided to only go with five instead of nine. That was just too many lights, but overall, really do like the amount of lights and it came out good. Right, the first thing we need to do here is move the enclosed trailer. Then we actually have to head over and pick up a skid steer that we have rented. For today, I think we'll have some fun in the 2020 Duramax, and more than likely over the next few weeks, we'll be uh, selling it for a 2020 Denali. And we'll get back uh, up to it here. Perfect, that seems to be good. I believe I do a manual attaching in. Let's give it a try and it looks like we don't, but uh, the backup cameras are really helpful uh, for that. And I think we'll put this on the other side of the garage just to kind of keep it out of the way as we have to go pick up the uh, skid steer with our trailer. I got a pretty good discount here for the skid steer. Two week rental was $800 and I decided why don't we just go use our trailer to pick it up as well to save an extra $150 so that's a pretty good discount we had. Awesome so we got that moved out of the way why don't we get the utility trailer and head on out. Now last week we did mow our lawn here and the lawn looks awesome. A few guys really uh, commented saying good job on the lawn and that mower, that Hustler 72 inch, uh, did an amazing job. Awesome stripes. A few of the neighbors came over and actually asked us what lawnmower we have because of how awesome the lawn looks. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day has been a bit busy with a few things around the house, but so far it's been good. Now I do have a new farm sim control panel on order, and it, I think it's going to be a, a two, three weeks out due to uh, shipping delays. Once I do get that, I will do a full unboxing, and I, I can't wait to switch from using a controller to the full setup uh, for making these videos. Now I would have preferred a much smaller skid steer, but this was a pretty good price, and why not for the extra 100 bucks I believe it was, I uh, get the bigger one. So the skid steer I decided to go with here is a Bobcat S590. Now I did ask them for the bucket with teeth uh, to help out with ripping up that grass and putting down the gravel. We're probably just going to put down, I would say around uh, 3 inches of gravel, I think that's all we need. Perfect. Get centered over the axles and that looks to be good. Over last week we've had a lot of awesome feedback here on the channel. A lot of cool landscaping jobs and videos. And this upcoming week uh, will be even better videos. 
this 2020 Duramax looks so cool. It did take me, I would say, a few months to really like the body style, but once I started liking it, it just looks awesome. And it does a pretty good job tone here. I would say this skid steer is uh, anywhere from five to 8,000 pounds. It's a pretty heavy one. Now I think I paid just around $20 a ton for the gravel and I believe it was a $45 delivery fee so it's not too much and uh, definitely having a trailer port will really help us out here. It's just so much uh, wear and tear on the trailer and I really want it to kind of be kept out of weather and I think this is the best we can do. And let's kind of park the trailer here on the grass. We really don't want it in the driveway because uh, I don't think we'll probably disconnect the trailer for a few weeks. But we do have a few other projects I do want to do with this at the house. And that is why we have it for two weeks. Perfect. Let's get it backed up here. And why don't we get going on this? We'll use the bucket here to scrape down. I think we'll do two, three passes, and then uh, we'll get going on the gravel. Put the teeth down and just keep going. Let's get turned around here and do another one. This thing does a really good job, and we are making pretty good headway here. Pretty tall grass. That's also a problem. We have grass growing underneath the trailer, and I really don't want uh, anything to happen to those tires sitting on the uh, grass. All right, it looks like we are good there with the uh, dirt, uh, with scraping up all that grass. Why don't we get going here on the gravel? I really do like this gravel. It was a pretty good price as well. I was expecting it to be a little bit more. So far, I've really been enjoying the homeowner series here on the new map. I can't wait for all the projects to come. We will be doing some things here with the backyard as well, which should be pretty exciting. And also, I would say probably in about a month, we'll buy some land and build ourselves a ranch a few hours away from us. And I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do. It's going to give us a lot more projects once we get freed up a bit. And I don't really expect us seeing uh, and buying a brand new truck every single episode. I really don't want to go that route, and I want to be as realistic as we can. Oh, this gravel is going to come out nice when we're done. Another bucket or two, and I think that's all we really need here. Alright, we have all of the gravel spread here. The pile is completely gone. Looks like I did order a pretty decent amount. Almost looks like I ordered just enough. So the gravel is in place. This thing looks awesome. So why don't we, uh, for now, put the uh, trailer back over here, and then uh, we will kind of go pick up some more materials. We will be picking up some 4x4 posts and the steel roofing, and we'll actually be taking the F-250 Tremor. Even though this is a really nice truck, it is meant uh, for hauling materials and things like that, and I definitely want to put these to work even more. And I think once we get back here, we'll play some basketball and also go check up here on Diesel. Pretty tight now here with uh, the skids here, but we'll get this in place. This will also kind of help us uh, with the uh, height. We'll have to do a few measurements how wide and how high we need to cut the wood and all of the materials for that, but definitely really going to help out and keeping this trailer in the best condition as possible. This is one expensive car trailer, $15 uh, plus thousand dollars. Oh, look at that. Perfect sizing. Oh, yeah, so we'll back up a little bit more. And there we go. Awesome. Let's head over to the store and pick up those materials. Now I think to build this trailer port, including the gravel pad and everything, it's probably going to be around uh, six, seven hundred dollars, which is surprisingly a lot cheaper than what I was expecting. 
If you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I do post uh, some pretty cool pictures and updates over there every single day. Now I will be getting a new microphone probably within the next month, month and a half. Cannot wait for that. That's going to be a big improvement here for the channel. And we are back here. We can pretty much buy all of these supplies for the garage here. And I think at the end of today we'll talk about what's coming new to the garage. But we have 4x4 posts that's going to be pretty heavy. And then we do have the metal roofing uh, which is what we'll use. Perfect. We'll get this uh, lifted up here into the truck. Now I would like to pick one by one up, but that isn't really possible, but I definitely would like to do that. Actually, this has to go a little bit further back. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, if you are on summer, and if not, are you excited for it? I definitely want summer to come and just be able to uh, be out of school and just have a great time, and hopefully uh, we can do some fun things here with the channel, and as realistic as we can get it, uh, we'll put a few straps. Oh yeah, we could strap that down there. Definitely need straps on that. So fully loaded, that actually worked out pretty well. If we loaded it the other way around, I don't think uh, those materials would have uh, fit. I would like to thank all of you guys for the continued support on the daily videos. A lot of cool content coming. We are getting subscribers really quickly. And the goal is 100,000 subscribers. Possibly there will be a pretty big special happening once we reach it. This F-250 here is awesome. Now we don't have the power stroke in this. We actually have that 7.3 liter gas. And I will have to say that was definitely uh, the uh, right way to go here. It's just so awesome to have. And I can't wait for it. But one loaded truck. I would say probably 1,000 or 2 pounds here in the back of the bed. So why don't we leave this parked right here. I don't think we'll have a problem. And actually what might be better is to just kind of drive the truck around back here. And I think we'll probably do that late tonight. I will build it and it should be ready to go for tomorrow. Really quickly, let's talk about a few things that's happening inside the garage. I have ordered the garage flooring and the pressure washer. I'm thinking we should be able to put the pressure washer in between the two big windows. We'll have a holes reel, the pressure washer, some cool things to go along with it. And that will be awesome. I can't wait for that. And uh, both of those should be arriving tomorrow. Let's go check up here on Diesel. Let's see if he wants to run around, chase us around the yard uh, to end today. And come on, Diesel, grab a bite to eat. He always uh, loves to eat. Let's see. Let's see if Diesel wants to kind of come around. It is a bit tricky when we do try to pet him around uh, his food crate. And let's see, he might want to follow us. And there he goes, Diesel is chasing us, and we're running, getting some great exercise. And a one update here for you guys. Uh, this trailer I did post here on a few of the different websites for sale, $1,000. So I don't think we'll have this for too much longer. Just don't need it, and it's a bit too small for anything. So that's pretty much it there. And this tree definitely needs to be removed, so I will have to remove it. Here's an update here on the shed. Definitely have to run power out here still. But let's run back here, play some basketball, and we'll call it a day. It's been a pretty fun day, but a bit, uh, pretty busy day here for us at the house. Did a few big projects, and we still will be finishing those in the coming days. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one, and subscribe for more.